Yo, what's up? My name is Yardfish, and I've been gone for a really long time. I think it's been like about a year at this point. Some of you all might have had a kid during that time. If that's the case, then uh, congratulations. I hope it wasn't a mistake. But look, I've been getting messages for a long time, for a good few months now. People asking me where I've been, what I've been doing, am I still doing this monkey stuff, etc., etc. And, um, well, yeah, I have been. That's what I'm still doing, in fact. It's just that it became apparent that this was not really the sort of thing that I would be able to continue, you know, making videos about openly because of the severity of the situation that we were looking at. So if you had seen some of my previous videos, I mentioned that I had begun working with a number of different individuals from a lot of different fields ranging from internet vigilantes to researchers and psychologists and NGOs, primatologists and journalists. And that last bit is kind of what I'm here to talk about specifically. You see, a group of journalists that work for the BBC had been conducting an investigation of their own into this community, a monkey group and degenerates, and they'd been working on it for almost as long as I had been. And following the release of like my first two videos, they reached out to me to assist with some of the stuff that they were doing, and that led to what became the largest anti zoo operation that there's ever been so far, involving law enforcement from a number of different countries, such as the US, UK, Indonesia, and so forth. And that was, uh, it was a trip. That was not really where I saw my life going. This is not really what I saw myself doing, you know, a couple of years ago, but it is what it is. Um, but a decent chunk of what we did over the last two years or so has been chronicled in a documentary that's being released by the BBC on June 20th, which is like two days from now. I I didn't really have a whole lot of time to put anything together with regards to this kind of stuff. I am tired and very burned out. Sleep is a wonderful thing that should be treasured always, but anyway. I'm not really here to provide spoilers as to what's being covered in that documentary. What I will tell you though is... A lot of the questions regarding this community that pops up, you know, everywhere, whether it's on Reddit, on YouTube, anybody who is aware of the existence of this community has questions. They've always been speculating and theory crafting as to what's actually been going down. Uh, a lot of those questions will be answered, including, you know, some of the things that I said in my previous videos that I'm aware some people were skeptical about. For example, the fact that I mentioned a lot of these people were middle-aged women and just older individuals in general. I know some people think that I, the only thing I used to come to that conclusion was just by looking through comments and stuff. And uh, no, there's, there's a lot more stuff that went on under the hood. There are also people curious as to what motivates these people, why they do what they do and so on. Well, yeah, you're going to get some answers as far as that is concerned. And what the documentary mainly focuses on is investigating and identifying not only the people that were responsible for filming and producing this type of content in Indonesia, but also identifying the individuals that were responsible for bankrolling these operations, the people paying for and distributing content and reselling content online via Telegram, Discord, sometimes YouTube comments and YouTube channels, who they are and some of the things that they've done. This is something that's been in the work for two years. It's a very, very thorough investigation. And there is so much stuff that needs to be said about what went on and what we learned. But a lot of that supplemental information is stuff that I'm going to I'm gonna be talking about following the release of the documentary. So, yeah, basically, I'm just here to tell you that, yeah, this thing is coming out. It's going to be on June 20th. I'll be putting a link in the description as to where you can watch this and read up on their supplemental materials, their radio show, and every bit of stuff that they release. They poured a lot of resources into this thing over the last two years, and it's substantial. Uh, beyond that, I can't really talk about it as of yet, but once it drops, there is going to be a lot of stuff that I definitely need to talk about, and that's, that's going to be eating up a lot of my time. There are definitely things to be touched on with regards to a lot of the pet monkey channels on YouTube and their involvement in this type of snuff and torture content, where by day they masquerade as these loving, caring family homes, and at night it's something else entirely different. There are a lot of parallels to other industries that need to be talked about.
there's the monkey molesting community itself and how they've well devolved and all of their little idiosyncrasies and whatnot but yeah that's that's going to be in an update following the release of the documentary and um yeah this video is basically here to tell you to look into that documentary if you've been curious as to what i've been doing over the last year or so if you're looking for answers and a lot of the truth behind what's been going on with the monkey stuff on youtube and elsewhere and lastly, all of the footage that I used in this video is courtesy of Oroz Marisco. He's a YouTuber located in Hong Kong, who is one of the few people that films non-exploitative videos of these critters that exists on YouTube, which is kind of an extreme rarity. So you can give his channel a look-see if you're interested. Till next week, I guess. I'm, uh, I'll be elsewhere. Bye.